So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for Yellow Jackets episode 10. We're finishing the season with this one. I don't know what to expect. This could end anyway. I know there's a season two. I don't know if there's a season three or not, but I'm guessing, right? We're gonna end on a cliffhanger. That's it. As always, the more extended version is going up over on Patreon. If you guys wanna check that out, the link is in the description down below. I do a whole bunch of other shows over there like we're doing Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, Heartstopper, Daisy Jones and the Six, as well as older shows like Buffy, The X-Files, uh, Star Trek, all that stuff. But let's go. Oh, the night after the day before, huh? The mushroom soup really knocked you all the fuck out. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot. Oh my God, they were Blair witching it out here last night, weren't they? They were trying to kill Travis. Yeah, and she was the fucking leader of that merry little group of psychos. Do you know if they'll be having a service? <laughs> I was like a daughter to her. Oh, that's okay. I'll just ask Kenny at the morgue. If you know Kenny at the morgue by his first name, you are too invested. <laughs> I knew the cover story. Also, regular bleach leaves behind hemoglobin for the luminal tests. Are we not even the slightest bit frightened of Misty? In this car when she's telling you about what kind of bleach is best for covering up a crime? Hey Travis, how are you feeling after last I night? I looking everywhere for you. You want to run head first to fuck away? Are you alright? I... I would already be halfway down the hill. I'd be gone. Well, last night, I... Uh, actually, I'm better than fine. I finally got laid, so... Well, do you want any help? Nope. All right, we're just not gonna talk about the fact. Okay. I'm just gonna let last night go, I guess. This is your big brainstorm. Hey. Do you have a better idea? I would have 100% faith that Misty can help here. If you haven't already turned off your phones, I suggest you do that now. Wipe it and destroy the SIM card. All right? and then do the same thing to yours. I didn't see any security cameras, <laughs> so you'll handle the body. But are you okay to do that? Yeah. You're I'll gonna make you. it so bad enough that she killed him. You're gonna make her cut up so his body? Just... Don't remember how to do that. Just, just hey, skills me. learned in the wilderness. Like. They don't fade that easy. I was with him the day Travis died. So then who did kill Travis? Because we, okay, it was not got to do with him. It was her husband that was blackmailing them. But I don't think he killed Travis. Maybe Travis just couldn't stand to live like that anymore. Or maybe there's someone else involved in this shit that we haven't considered yet. Hey, I'm not the one who went completely fucking insane last night. Right, no, you were too busy screwing Travis. Whoa, hey. Screwing oh, Travis is one thing. Sure. Going fucking goblin mode out in the middle of the forest trying to kill someone is another. Okay, yeah, it was an accident. They were meant for Ben. Oh my god, do you have any idea how crazy you are? Okay. Oh god, it's Brown Bear. <clears throat> Which one do you stand up and like square up against? Which one do you run away from? I don't remember. She's gone a bit too dark for my liking. He wouldn't even do nothing. He was lying down. Sucks, a poor bear. He wanted a little scratch behind the ears and instead he got Shauna's blade. I don't know if you know this, but I was supposed to be on the plane that day. Is this the girl that got her leg broken? Yes. What the fuck is she on about trauma bonding? She wasn't even there. Thank you for coming. I'm sure mom was lucky to have you. This is to be expected. We had a very tough day. Having a bit of a cry after disposing of a body is normal, I assume. I mean, Misty's living it up at a funeral, but that's Misty. She never reacts to things the way you think you should. Oh, the reunions tonight. They all forgot. What? Have had things to otherwise occupy their time. Gardening, the PTA, just my core. skip it. If you hate this shit, skip it. I mean, I wouldn't go to my reunions, I don't think. Because I didn't like anybody in my school. Wait up. And it is fake. It is, oh my god, hi. I don't do that shit. Okay, so we had a very big dramatic entrance into this place. Where are we walking to? They're just going to keep walking, doing laps around the gym. Oh my god, Missy, just get the fuck away. She was only, okay, she didn't poison, or she didn't spike the soup, right? Misty didn't do that. Misty was going to drug Ben, is that his name? Coach. So, like, I don't get why none of you are seeing that there's a bigger issue here. I don't think I was dead, but I wasn't really alive. You were in shock. No, I was in limbo. My body was... No, but I know I saw something. What did you see? I don't remember this. Something was out there. That's not nice. Her name is Misty, and so... yeah, she's a bit fucking off. The bear probably just smelled us and came looking for food, okay? I probably hate her energy. Home. I despise her energy so much. She's one of she's one of those like, yeah, well, actually. 
Like, get that we're grateful for the bear, but like, we're all fucking starving. Can we just eat the goddamn bear? Instead of holding hand, thanking someone for, you know? We must first look back. I get it. She's trying to pin this as like a tribute to them, but it's not. It's just exploitative. Jackie didn't say it. Jackie, that's her name. We're, we're just not going to talk about it. We just howl at the moon now and have fucking orgies. She's got a point with this. You had a knife to his throat. Were you going to eat his Adam's apple? Shauna was fucking Jeff. Behind my back. That's who's really responsible for her little bundle of joy. You were my best friend. I'm kind of with her on this one, as much as I don't <laughs> like don't her character. Like and how would you know? You just assumed I'd go wherever you wanted. So you fucked you my boyfriend? What to, wear, what to do, who to hook up with? And the rest of us were just extras in the movie of your fucking life. <laughs> my god. I understand where she's coming from, and I get it. She probably is a vain, self indulgent, selfish bitch. But how about you just verbalize that with her? Instead of being a sneaky snake and going fucking her boyfriend and then trying to gaslight her into being like, but it's your fault I did it. I I'd try. I try with all of these characters to see the good with the bad. Because a lot of them are very three dimensional. They have different like aspects to them. But they're all, a lot of them are just at their core, fucked up, twisted and bitter. The show is just an example of why they ended up that way. Okay. But like Shauna is just an absolute cunt. There's no other way to put it. Who kind of does what she wants when she wants. And then tries to blame it on other people when she gets called out on her shit. Like she tried to fucking eat Travis last night. And now she's like being called out for fucking her boyfriend. And she's like yeah but it's kind of your fault when you think about it. Because you're the people's princess or whatever the fuck. And then in the future has an affair and blames it on the fact that her husband was having an affair. Like, she doesn't really take accountability for anything and she's really unlikable as a person, but she's fascinating to watch as a character. That's it, get, get out. So maybe you should leave. Maybe you'd be better off. We're all so crazy. You are though! Hey, everybody just stop. Why are they- Nobody <laughs> is going outside. Stay out of it, coach. Why are we exiling her? She's Jackie, speaking the on, truth. Don't, don't pretend like this isn't what you wanted. The entire fucking You fucking time. psychopaths were about to kill and eat someone last night. You were howling at the moon. She sucks as a friend. Are you alright? No, she's not okay. She didn't want to come. You bought her two different dresses to try and talk her into yeah. going. This is traumatic for her. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just so fun to be with old friends. I clean up messes for the rich and the powerful. She is a master manipulator. Word. I'd say it was soul crushing if I remembered what it felt like to have one. I parked your car out front. I even filled up your gas tank and topped up your wiper fluid. What's missing? What's what? missing? Misty! Okay, fine. I threw them out, but... Start thinking about who you want to play you in the movie. She talked her way out of this kidnapping. Well done. I think Misty might have met her match with her. I fucking love you, Daddy. Whoa. The two of them are the only two that I think will stand the t Well, obviously they do stand the test of time because they make it off the island and they still continue some kind of relationship. Is she drugged? Is it the cigarettes? Are the cigarettes spiked with something? What the fuck does Misty gain from this? Unless the dose is enough to kill her. Wind up in the chili pot. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening right now? We're bonding. We're watching television. Nothing like a bit of murder. Why don't you join us? To bring a fractured couple more. together. It's starting to look like this race was much closer than anyone anticipated. She didn't go very far, did she? She was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. Fuck all of you guys. And she just sat in the garden. 36 was last seen Monday. Concerned family and friends said they have not heard from him in several days. We're just not gonna talk about that? Okay. <laughs> Nope, I don't need anything that bad. I'd be gone right back up them fucking stairs. She really does for nothing. She fucking going head first into the goddamn vent. I but your wife is climbing around your bloody vents at home. What is she gonna find? Oh sweet mother of Jesus. It's divorce. Oh clock. Sorry, you killed the dog. That is just irredeemable to me. Kill a person I could probably Forgive you. Kill a dog? No. You're a psychopath. This is stupid. You're the I'm one sorry. that banished me. Okay, I, I'm really sorry. Why are we all standing around in a circle? I don't like this. Are they about to kill her? Are we drugging her? How? She dead. Where did you find this? Does it matter? Yeah. I love you, Jackie. 
Oh yeah, she's either dead or dying. We've been waiting for you. Who the fuck is that? Oh, will she have like frozen to death overnight or some shit? She's totally dead out on the lawn. Hallucinating, drinking hot chocolate and talking to dead people. <laughs> yeah, and she's going to be all surprised now that Jackie's dead. They're all going to be all... Ah! How could this happen? Because you fucking exiled her outside the cabin because he had a fight. And nobody went to get her last night. This is collectively all of your fault. It's kind of hard to like any of these. It's getting hard to like any of these characters, actually. Well, maybe if you had gone out to get her last night instead of tucking yourself into bed, she wouldn't be dead. Just saying. Found out who emptied it. Who? I think someone's following me. Who the fuck is Lottie Matthews? Lottie, she's one of them. She's one of the core group. I don't know. I think they're they're spiraling a bit too quickly. Let the darkness set us free. I mean, the, the last ten minutes of this episode was fucking batshit berserk. So much happened, it just felt crammed in. It was a fantastic finale. But I I just feel like that was a bit too fast moving at the end. Season two next week.